In this video, we are going to learn how to find the value of trigonometric functions of acute angles using right triangles. So I drew a, a right triangle here, I labeled sides A, B, and C within a given angle theta. And sine, as we know, is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. Using those sides A over C for sine, uh, B over C for cosine, and A over B for tangent. And since cosecant is sine's reciprocal, you'll notice that instead of doing opposite over hypotenuse, cosecant would be hypotenuse over opposites, giving me C over A instead, and then C over B, then B over A. So now let's look at these two examples on the right. So first we're going to find the exact value of the six trigonometric functions of angle theta in each figure. So in the first figure I see I get theta is given to me on the bottom left and I have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse but I still need to find the opposite side in order to find the values of all six trig functions. So I will use Pythagorean theorem which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. c will be 5 and b will be 3. So I'll have a squared plus 3 squared is equal to 5 squared. <laughs> Pardon my mistake. They give me a squared plus 9 equals 25. So a squared equals 16. Take the square root of both sides. a is equal to 4. So now I found my opposite side. So now I can go through and evaluate all of the trig functions. Sine of theta would be 4 over 5, opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of theta will be adjacent over hypotenuse, so 3 over 5. Tangent of theta will be opposite over adjacent, so 4 over 3. Cosecant of theta will be hypotenuse over opposite, giving me 5 over 4. Secant will be hypotenuse over adjacent, which is 5 over 3. And cotangent of theta will be uh, adjacent over opposite, which will give me 3 fourths. So those are the values of the six trig functions. Now over here I've given both the opposite and the adjacent side by solving the hypotenuse to find the value of all of the trig functions. So I'll use the Pythagorean theorem again. This time I don't know the hypotenuse, so I'll have uh, 2 squared plus 3 squared is equal to c squared, giving me 4 plus 9 equals c squared, and c will equal the square root of 13. So now I know my hypotenuse, and I'll go through. I have sine of theta will equal opposite over hypotenuse, so 3 over the square root of 13. And I want to rationalize my denominator, so I'll multiply the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 13, giving me square root of 13 over 13, 3 square roots of 13 over 13. Cosine of theta will be adjacent over hypotenuse, so 2 over the square root of 13. Rationalizing that denominator by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 13, gives me 2 square roots of 13 over 13. Tangent of theta will be opposite over adjacent, so 3 over 2. Cosecant of theta will be hypotenuse over opposite, so square root of 13 over 3. Secant of theta will be hypotenuse over adjacent, so square root of 13 all over 2. And cotangent of theta will be adjacent over opposite, which is 2 thirds. And that is how you find the value of trigonometric functions of acute angles using right triangles.